What is up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Dying Light the Following. So, I don't know exactly like where I am or what I'm doing. I had to go get my blood taken. They had to go steal my blood for science. And so I had to go out and get my blood drawn. And so I had to like stop the game and come back. And I don't want to turn my flashlight on because there's bad guys everywhere. It kind of seems like it's daytime, but it's also really not daytime. It's a little confusing. Basically, I'm hoofing it back to my car and I figured interesting adventures might happen if I started the camera up. And so welcome on back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of the following. My name is Splattercat. Very happy to have you here today as we crest this rock. I'm going up this hill right here. This hill. We're going on up. The hill's going up on a Tuesday. I like that song. That song goes. Although the music kind of sucks right now. Although I think it's just where I live. Where I live, we got nothing but shitty radio stations. Back when I used to live in the North Bay, we had hella good radio stations. It was on. We had that KMEL rocking it. It was great. We had really, really, really good stations. But now I moved out kind of like the ass end of the East Bay. And all their radio stations out here suck. They're the worst. And it's not even like they don't have genres that I don't like. They just pick bad music. That's really the problem is they have stations for the genres that I like. They just pick, like, the worst examples of it. And it's like, oh, my God, you're killing me out here. Killing me. Why does everybody have the same pack pack here? I'm assuming that they get it all from the same, like, REI-type place. These duffels, hella expensive. I was kind of pissed. I had an ex-girlfriend. I drove down, and I stayed at her house for a while back in the day. And I've had my entire life, my dad, when I was a kid, he got me this leather duffel bag. Like, it's a really dope leather duffel bag. And he said, you know, like, this duffel bag should last you, like, the rest of your life. Treat it well. And I took it down to my girlfriend's house, my... Oh, there he goes. I think he's up and out of here. I don't think he wants to mess with us. He's getting a little crispy in the sunlight. That's what he deserves, because he's a douche. Anyways, back to the story at hand. My dad said, this is probably like the last... I don't want to destroy the volatile hive at all, by the way, while we're on the subject. I'll probably do strange noises, though. Let's take a look at that. Kill this zombie, too, because I don't like her face. I don't like her face, and I don't like her mama's face, and so that's what she gets. But yeah, my dad was like, if you take care of this duffel bag, it'll probably last you the rest of your life. They don't make them like this anymore. And I had it until I was like 25. I had it since the time I was like 20. Uh, I'm sorry, I had it since the time I was like 4 or 5 years old. And I took the best care of it that I could, but I took it to a girlfriend's house and her cat pissed all over it because it smelled my cat on it. And just ruined the whole thing. I took it to dry cleaners. I tried everything to get that taken care of. Nope. Ain't nothing fixed that up. It was straight garbage destroyed. So I just had to get rid of it. And then one time when I was traveling through the TSA, they like razored it or something like that. It has a big razor cut in it, and I don't know. Someone wants to desecrate one of the holy altars. In the name of the mother, we can't let this happen. Oof. Huh. I'm not exactly sure what happened here. So when I turned my game back on, it spawned me all the way across the map, like in another spot. I think it's got the demo file, you know the preview they sent me? I think it got the preview confused with like the rest of it. We need to reset its position too. So this is our buggy right here. This is my buggy. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Oh, it wants me to hold that down. Okay. This right here needs to be repaired. So let's repair everything. Oh, it takes five screws to fix everything? Damn, that took hella. Alright, we have equipment slots. We could press E to activate it. Okay, I vaguely remember that. We can also customize things. We can change visual accessories. Oh, the bobbleheads go in here? Okay. I got you now. We don't have any other paint jobs. In the preview, they gave me a bunch of... Oh, I'll put Esgi on the front of us, even though it's kind of weird and creepery. Did it work? I'm not sure if it actually worked. Can I modify anything in here? Like, let's say that I wanted to go in on buggy upgrades. So we got a basic set of non-off-road tires. Okay, so it looks like I just need driver points or something. Oh, it's just like everything else. You can only repair things a couple of times. So if I reset the position... Oh, yeah, there's the bobblehead right there. That's kind of cool. That's fun. I need to refuel this thing before we go out for the day, though. I got to get this thing stocked on up. I think we only have, like, the one thing of fuel, so it might be troublesome. Let's go investigate strange noises. And so it looks like there's mysterious noises in the park. We're going to go find out about these. Yeah, that's definitely Creeper. I don't, I don't know what I would do if somebody had a bobblehead of me, like, on their dashboard. I'd be like, that's really, really odd. I don't know how I feel about this right now. I feel like it kind of needs to change. The Smasher Challenge. I don't know if I want to do the Smasher Challenge right now. I'm kind of trying to stay on point. With these open world games, you got to be careful. Open world games, it's very, very easy to lose track of time. 
and like forget what you're oh there's a volatile right there that's not good it's very easy to lose track of what you were working on and just like work on nothing for hella long when you do these open world games and so i try to have like episodes where i accomplish things and then i also try to have episodes where we just dick around for a little bit so that you get like the best of the both worlds i don't know if i can take this dude i'll try and get him but i don't know if it's gonna count So is that like a, what is that down there? It looks like there's some kind of hive or something down there. I don't know. There was some kind of little symbol. And I don't know what it was. Where am I trying to go right now? Like, where are we? We got to light this up. Oh, that's out there. How do we get to there? It looks like we take a junction right there. We definitely ain't going this way, I don't think. I mean, I can try and off-road it. I can't tell you if it's going to work. I don't know what kind of hardware we got inside this bad little Betty. Uh, we might make it. I don't know if this is the junction we're looking for, though. I know where the droids are that I'm looking for, but the junction... Yeah, this is where we need to be. I think we're solid. I did want to include a lot of the driving. I did want to mention while we're on the subject. I try to treat my Let's Plays like a little bit of a review as well so that I can tell you what I'm feeling and what I'm going through right now in terms of the gameplay. And I love the way the driving feels. The driving feels super solid. It feels beautiful. It feels very, very nice. No problems. Seems to be pretty bueno. I think I'll probably hop out of the whip right here. Although in the bay, we call this a bucket. This right here is a bucket, a scraper. This is definitely the definition of a bucket. Although if you wanted it to be super buckety, you'd have like a duct tape sound system on the back. That's if you wanted it to be really, really, really like straight up like hood bucket scraper, like going. Yeah, I'm from the bay area. So I figured I'd let you in on a little bit of the slang. In case you're ever out here, you'll know. Hear somebody talking about scrapers and rippers and all kinds of shit like that. You'll know. A ripper's a hoe, by the way. <laughs> that is a that is a lady of the night. <laughs> oh, a flip. A ripper. Lots of different words for it. A bop. That one's super Bay Area. You'd be like, that girl's a bummy ass bop. <laughs> Although Ripper is pretty popular too. Yeah, you're about to get clipped, buddy. Got four right there. Oh, we got a cigarette. Oh, he's carrying some gems in here. He's been doing some burglary. I bet it's down in the well, isn't it? I always got to go down a well. Every RPG I play, I got to go down in a well every single time. And you know there's going to be monsters and shit down here. How do I get down? Oh, no. Yeah, I was going to say, I hope there's water or something at the bottom because I messed that up badly. Oh, it's going to be one of those baby things, dude. I remember these. I hit the ground. Yeah, I figured that's what we were up against. So why did somebody stockpile all this food down here? There's hella food down and in here. And my vision's all blurry because apparently I hit the ground. You know, I wouldn't think. That's like three, four stories right there. I don't think cardboard would save you on that one. That's a little ugly. That's a little troublesome. That's not a happy sound. That's not a happy sound at all. That is nothing that makes me feel confident. So we got some water barrels in here. If I remember right, you can hold your breath for a while in this game. Maybe I gotta go through the bottom. Oh, you can't squeeze through. Okay. Gotcha. Man, was this guy a pearl diver? I mean, I know he's part of like the CIA or something like that, so maybe he's got like all kinds of infiltration training. He's good at this shit. There's a lot of dead dudes down in here, too. I bet there's something special down in here they want me to gather. But I kind of want to grab some oxygen first. There we go. Alright, I may have upgrades, too. So if your character can't handle water like my character can, it's possible that you just don't have the same upgrades that I do. You know there's got to be something down in here. A firearms bundle. There's a firearms bundle got going on. I assume it's a bundle of firearms, but it's not what I was expecting to find down here. Hmm. I think we're probably still good. We got some dead spec ops guys down in here. I 
It looks like this is just an oxygen point where you can come up and get some air before you do the next part of the dungeon. Or the next part of the incursion or infiltration or whatever you want to call it. The next part of the swim meet. I was on the swim team for a while. I liked it a lot. I love swimming. Swimming's important to my family. I already mentioned why in previous episodes, but I like swimming a lot. Just the feeling of being weightless. Like, I love it when you let all the oxygen out of your lungs and you sink down to the bottom and you just lay on the bottom look up at the top of the water. I love that. I don't know what it is about water that's so relaxing for me, but I'm definitely aquatic people. I love water. Water's the best. I'm like a Labrador retriever with that shit. Can't wait to get out in the water. What is going on right now? Let's climb out real quick. Oh, it gave me a pistol. Okay. That's sweet. It's like a little sig or something. It's kind of what it looks like to me. I don't see anything down in there. I hope that doesn't draw the wrong sort of attention. I should probably lay back on the firearms. In general, if you've never played Dying Light before, they try to discourage the use of firearms. The more you use firearms, the more likely it is that they'll spawn one of like the super zombies around you. And so you kind of want to take it slow, unless you're in a safe zone. Like There are areas where you can do gunplay, but typically it's going to be inside of cities and stuff like that. Places that would normally they have UV protection or whatever to keep zombies out. But if you're out in the field, it's sometimes a little bit risky to use firearms. And I know there's a temptation there. I love guns. Guns are my favorite in this game. I always felt like the gunplay in this game was very, very satisfying. Which is good, because a lot of zombie games kind of skip on that. The gunplay sometimes doesn't feel good in zombie games, because they want to encourage you to use blunt weapons or whatever. I have unspent skill points. Well, I'll get on that in just a minute. What are we looking for right now? I'm also trying to do something a little bit different with this playthrough because we already did the preview so you saw like the first bit of the storyline I'm trying to do some of the extra stuff right now to kinda I don't know make you forget that we've already done the storyline for a little ways into the game I don't see anything over there A couple of dead dudes down in here but that's not so out of the ordinary can we get to the surface of the water in here or like what are we looking at it looks like the little light trail goes down inside of there get a little bit of air on that side but you can't always you got to be careful because as plants decompose and shit like that sometimes you can't depend on the fact that there will be breathable oxygen when you get up inside little pockets like that so I don't know don't don't take your real life experience from video games sometimes these little oxygen bubbles like these right here the air will be contaminated by, I don't know if there's a gas can leaking around here or anything like that, or just decomposing plant matter can eat it all up. It's just, it's kind of random. You would you just wouldn't be able to tell. Take a big, deep breath of something unsafe and knock yourself out, and that'll be it for you. I knew somebody almost got killed by carbon monoxide poisoning. Like, she and her mom started getting hella sleepy, and they just thought that they had had a long day or whatever carbon monoxide alarm went off and the neighbor heard it and the neighbor busted up in the house opened the door up and everything and like saved him because he heard the alarm going off but they like blacked out and everything that's some scary shit right there you just like fall asleep and never wake up again like damn son I'm not down with that noise let's be careful in here we already know that those little baby things are around and for those who have never played the game before, if they get their little scream off, it summons like thousands of zombies on you. It's straight. It's trouble. It's bad. It's not going to work out for you. Especially if you're in an enclosed space like this where you can't free run and get away. So I try to be careful about it personally. Oh shit, we got a survivor. Shit. O okay, I'm listening. There. In there. That's my child. Don't, don't let him die of hunger. Don't let 
him suffer. Mm, shit, bro. I think I killed your baby. Don't tell him though. I may have I may have killed your squealing little baby, man. I, I'm not a I'm not a baby person. Never have been. Never will be. It was an accident. It looked at me and it was scary, so I hit it in the face with a sword. I don't know, make a prettier baby. I don't know what advice to give you right now. Don't let your baby get turned into a zombie, because Kyle Crane's coming, and he is not good at discerning. Can you take the gas out of this right here? Like, if I follow this cable, will it take me to a gas tank? Oh, man, I need gas super bad. Not like, <laughs> gas. Not like, ooh, it's bean night. We just had tacos. Nah, that's not it. That's the new guy from Jazeera's. What's up, guys? Nice crossbow. You boys hunting something? Yeah, a goddamn monster that's been stealing our food. I shot it, but it ran and hid in this cave. Did you not see it in there? Probably for the best, since it was wounded and all. I'm like 90% sure you shot that guy with a crossbow. Hey, he's stealing. It's frontier law out here. If society ever breaks down, don't get caught stealing. Ain't nobody to save you in that situation. Looks like we can help some locals. We've also got... Oh, man, we got to find our play to... We got to find our way to a place where we can spawn the buggy back. Because I want my buggy back, buggy back, buggy back. Oh, man, he's strafing. This guy's getting his CSGO skills going. He's like, ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, I made a mistake. This right here is why, in general, you probably don't want to fire guns much. I'm going to band-aid real fast. Because we got problems. Ooh, took her head clean off. Kick her real quick. Give her a couple. Yeah, you like that jump kicking skill? Hey! See, that's what somebody needs to do. They need to remix some Cossack music. And then they got to take it and put the DJ Mustard thing on it. Because you're like, hey, hey. I don't know. I get ideas like that sometimes. And I don't know if they'd be a good idea. Ah! Oh, he's breathing little goo balls on me, man. Stop breathing goo balls. Why are you breathing goo balls, though? Do you think I want to be covered in your caustic shit? No. I try to live a simple life, and you just keep spitting on me, making it difficult. Messing my that is a sheer cliff right there. I wonder if we can climb it. That'd be pretty sick if we could. Does this game have, like, a film grain effect? I can't tell. It kind of feels like there's film grain. I might have to turn that off. I think film grain is, like, annoying. Doesn't do anything for me. My car's back this way. But we're kind of like in forsaken land right now. We either got to do like a hardcore climb right here. Or we got to find the way around. There's a van. Anybody want a van? Got some screws out of there. Ain't nothing in the gas tank. Can't open the back. Well, that was just kind of a, a bummer of a vehicle, wasn't it? I'm going to get this dude. I'm going to get this dude right now. I'm going to shoot him right in his little oxygen tank. Oh, shit. No, get off. I made a mistake. I made a mistake, and now i got to find out the hard way. So as far as I remember, when they explain it, man, I hate that animation. <laughs> That's such a bullshitty way to get free damage. Just like by nature, him being near you, he just gets a free hit. All right, we got him. We're good. Grab some of these lovely little goodies down in here. We've got more than enough stuff to basically make med kits forever, so. Can I climb this? Like, is this climbable? I don't think this is. Although, I think you they, you think they give you... Oh, I wonder if I could... Can you use your grapple around here anywhere? I kind of don't want to be here anymore. Like, how do we escape from the beach down here? Ugh, another one over here. Causing problems, and it's kind of making me upset. Oh, shit. That was a big-ass flim ball. Is that thing alive? Hold on, I gotta stab this guy to death. It looked like it was crawling after me for a second, did it not? It looked like he spit up like a sentient little slime ball. See if I can get around a little bit quicker. 
It starts to take a while to recharge after you get done, though. I think our best bet would be to, like, liberate a little settlement around here or something so that we have the fast travel point. I don't know what to say about it other than that. But basically, we can't be sitting around for too much longer. Oh, it's another one of these little bastards. Jump a lot. That's the secret. <laughs> I don't know, that's how I tend to do a little bit better against the little spitty McShitties. That's what I call them, they're spitty McShitties. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything to liberate around here. We have an unexplored place right there. We've got a volatile nest with fluorescent shrooms. Underwater algae. Well, let's check the unexplored place real fast. I don't know if it's an altar or what it is, but this seems to be some kind of new feature. That or my memory of the game is not so good. Looks like maybe it's a military outpost. Here's some big dudes. Jesus. The size of this big bastard. I think we might want to come up with an alternating solution. Like, we might want to come up with an alternate solution here. It doesn't look like it takes him out. Oh, he's a quick one. Yeah, he's a speedy little bastard. I know he's on me right... Wow, he's moving. Alright, so apparently there's like volatile versions of the big ones now too. Or were they always fast? I can't remember. If I can just keep these heads popping off, I think we're alright. I think we'll be good if I can only work my- oh shit, I don't want to do that. Yeah, I was going to say, where's my electrical scythe at? This thing hits for like a thousand damage. It might be a smarter plan. Let's loot the- ooh, premium cigarettes. So we got them Dejarums. Got them good stuff. I feel bad. People up in Australia, you gotta pay like $20 for like a pack of cigarettes, huh? That's hella expensive over there. Somebody was telling me about that the other day, how, like, nobody smokes in Australia. I mean, you do, like, at parties or whatever, but it's hella expensive. You gotta, like, love somebody to let them bum a cigarette off you. Somebody tries to bum a bogus cigarette off you, you'd be like, you need to get away from me. You're expensive. I don't know if I like you that much. There we go. We're getting work done now. We're getting work done now. She tried to crack me like a... She tried to crack me with a pipe like she knows me. Stop screaming so much. I should probably use the camouflage, but it seems like we need to level up a little bit anyways. This map's been kicking my ass. I was messing around on it a little bit off camera, and this map has not been kind to me. This map is a little bit cruel. Can I drop kick him? Well, if the drop kick works, we'll just stay on that drop kick then. And then just kick his head in afterwards, save the durability. Might work out better anyways. So we got going on in here. Let's search the gas tank. We got nothing right there. Lubricants. Ooh, we got a we got a supply cache right here. If if we're really lucky to be a supply of cash, there'll be an oven in the middle of those two words. All right, so we got flares and we've got military ammo. I don't know if that's incredibly valuable to me, but it seems like the sort of thing that I would Oh, we got another one back up in here too. There you go. Let's pick this one too, because if what I remember is correct, you can take like the antizen and the stuff. You can take them back to the quartermasters and you can get paid or something for them. Wow, we made a bunch of lockpicks. I was done dealing with this game's lockpick and shenanigans. I sat there and I spammed it. Okay. I don't really want the flares. I think they're like UV flares or something like that though. This looks like it was a government checkpoint. We might be able to get some good stuff. Yeah, some synthetics out of there. Gas tank on that side. What do we got? Lubricants right there. We might be able to craft something cool if we can find the blueprint for it. Some better suspension or something. I don't know where the best place for us to go is right now, so we're kind of off the beaten path at the moment. I need to find my way back to a vehicle, and if I don't do that, we're going to have trouble. I know that I haven't leveled up, but we'll probably do that in the next episode. Let's just have a look. It looks like somebody needs help over here. They're putting up a distress call. So we'll try to... Oh, it's one of these guys. Okay. See if I can help him. There we go. 
You guys all right? May the mother bless you. And let me reward you for what you did. I take payment exclusively in gibbers. I need gas too. I need gas bad. I'm going through some of this stuff, but it seems like you want to focus on the military vehicles. That seems to be the mechanic that we're dealing with now. So the military vehicles seem to give you that good stuff. Whereas like the other rando vehicles you find around might not be quite as useful. Got some insect spray in there. A little bit of aerosol. Just in case we want to get our huff on in a little bit. Don't do that, kids. It's bad for you. Like really, really, really bad for you. <laughs> There's a house on a hill over there. I don't know if you can still fast travel. Like, I thought you could fast travel before. But I was over here, and we got, like, a waypoint on this side. And I don't think you can anymore. Like, you used to be able to fast travel, but I think maybe they got rid of it so that you would be... You would have to use the buggy or something? I don't know. It seems like the buggy's kind of locked now. Maybe you can travel, maybe you just got to get to one of these places and you can travel from here to other places, but you just can't travel randomly out. We're like way out in the boonies right now, though. We're out in the sticks. So I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to break off the episode and what I'll do is I'll chug north for a little bit and I'll just see if I can get hooked up with like a spawner or something. And then I might be quicker just to walk to my car. I, I made a poor decision and I'm paying for it now. I'll see you all in the next episode. This is Dying Light the following. I'm having a blast with it. I'm looking forward to playing the game with all of you, so I'll see you all there. Bye, everybody.